Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, boy, guys. Alrighty, what is up? Jane Poop here with a brand new playthrough. I'm excited for this because we are doing the original Resident Evil. I cannot, I have been waiting so long to do this since I first played this back in like late 2021. Uh, it, like, uh, December, I think I first played this, uh, back on my Sega Saturn, uh, playing the Japanese version, Biohazard. Uh, but here we go, we are playing some... Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Oh, yes, the original on the PS1. Um, now controls, yeah, I am playing this on my PlayStation Classic, so... Uh, with, um, Project Eris installed, so I can access this menu without, uh... A keyboard uh, so yeah and I wanted to look more in the options uh, so I'm gonna look more in the options uh, config you can configure your controls I I'm gonna leave it at a but you can also customize your own controls that's cool S sound I'm gonna keep it a stereo vibration uh, unfortunately because the ps1 classic is only the standard controller not DualShock controller this is irrelevant but let's turn it on for sake anyway so, yeah, that is it for the options. And I am playing the DualShock version of the game. Now, some of you might be thinking, but Jay and Boob, it has the worst music ever in the game. But this is a hacked version, so it has the original soundtrack uh, and not the awful one, <laughs> like the awful shitty ones you had back in the days. So, um... And yeah, uh, this one also has the difficulty selection. Uh, we either have original, beginner, and a range, and you can enter a code. I forgot what it was. Um, probably show it in the video of what it is. Uh, but um, I'm just going to enter random buttons. It should turn green after you do it. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it should turn green. I forgot. What, I don't know what the code actually is, but, uh, but on a range or advanced mode in the uh, original director's cut version, it's just basically harder. Uh, beginning the beginner mode or training mode uh, is uh, basically is the easiest mode. I think I'm gonna play with that one because uh, I want to completely break the game. Because the original is just the original difficulty, just based in the original version. Uh, I think it was slightly different in the normal director's cut version, but I think the DualShock version changed it. So I'm gonna go with beginner mode, even though. I've played this before, but I've played it on original. I want to see how easier it is in this. So, here we go, because the game is very odd anyway. So, here we go, of some Resident Evil. And first off, you also have a character selection. So you either have Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine. Uh, I'm going to do both characters, but first off, I'm going to do Jill Valentine, because she's like the easiest character to use. So, and then... We're going to watch this beautiful FMV cutscene. Let's go. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo Team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Hey! 
Chris Redfield. have escaped into the mansion where they thought it was safe yet what is this wow what a mansion captain wesker where's chris i don't know stop it don't open that door but chris is what is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! Alright, so we're in the game now. We have these cool door opening animations back in the 90s. A dining room. And this is where we control the game. So this, this game uses tank controls. So, and obviously there's different controls. For me, it's going to be square to run and then X to like open doors, I believe. Um, you obviously press start to do stuff. You can have the knife and the gun or the ber the, the Beretta. The Beretta? How you say it? Where is Benner? Or whatever. We'll come back knife and then first aid spray. This heals you, uh, but we're not going to use it yet, of course. And that fine thing over there, that is your health. Uh, once you get hit a few times, then it will change to uh, caution, which will turn orange, and then danger and red. Then after that, you're dead. So, yeah. you got to be careful for this game. What? What is this? I don't know. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. We don't know because we don't we haven't seen him, so um and also behind Barry is this. Not it's not important yet, um it's an emblem. But we're gonna get it now. It's use it you will need to use it later, but for now. You don't need to use it, but we're going to get it anyway. So, so now we need to go through this door right here. And then over here, we meet something very suspicious. A zombie. Eating something. Oh, shit. Someone's head. It's a zombie, yes. And we're just going to use the knife. Yeah. And here, he's Kenneth from the Stars Bravo team. Now he's become a mirror shadow of his former self. And next to him is these. The clips. These are used for your gun. They're basically ammunition. There's two of them here. And you want to pick them both. Um, uh, they're like next to his hands. Now, I don't really recommend using a knife too much against zombies, but because I'm trying to conserve ammo, why not? And it was safe there anyway. Especially on beginner mode. Then you want to get out to where Barry is. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. His head exploded. What is it? It's a zombie. Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Well, he definitely was killed from that zombie because we just saw his head bit off. <laughs> onto the floor. So, um, yeah. And that's another thing about uh, this. This is also completely uncensored as well. It's basically similar to the Japanese version. Wesker! He's gone. 
Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. So yeah, we're gonna look for him. But spoilers, he's nowhere to be found here. He's not even behind here. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. You literally went in the dining room before, and then you decide to go in there again. What the hell? Alright, and then over here, we find these things, ink ribbons. These are for saving your game. And then you go to these typewriters, you can save your progress with this. Will you use the ink ribbon? Either yes or no, but... I'm not gonna use it, but when you say yes... Uh, because they're only used once you save. And then you, and then you would save there and then, boom. <laughs> then you can save your game. So, yeah. So apparently... Also, if you go, if you try to get out of that door, this happens. Yeah, and you can watch that cutscene again, but nothing really happens. So then we're gonna go up the stairs. Old 96 style. But yeah, that's another thing about this uh, special hack director's cut version. It's also completely uncensored, unlike the normal director's cut and dual shock versions, where they are still censored outside Japan, so... Even though the back of the box says the game is uncensored on the Director's Cut box, that's a lie. That is completely a lie. <laughs> now, there's some secrets I could show off here. Now, this also affects how the story and how much items you get. So I'm going to save state here, because I'm on the PlayStation Classic. I'm going to load it there. And I'm going to show off something that we can get now. So you know how Barry Burton went to the dining room? Again, even though he doesn't really need to go in there for no bloody reason. Well, if you go here, then, oh, because <laughs> there's usually a scene where he's here. Might have not accessed it, but, but sometimes you, but, I think, depending on story, you may get a cutscene where Barry Burton appears here and tries to shoot you, but then he realises it's Jill in the end. Um, and then he reveal this body right here, along with this gun that I got. Wow. Uh, now, I'm going to show off this. And then, yeah, this dead body. It's Forrest. He's been packed to death by crows. And then you want to escape the room because there's crows here. Let's close for no goddamn reason. Yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna reload the save. So I'm back here. Because I think we'll go in there later. So we're gonna... Because I usually go this way first. Oh, God, my nose. And there's two zombies here, so... We want to push this statue as well. Just hold up. And then, when the zombie's here, I just like to use the knife here. Because literally, it goes through and then you can just get the zombie that way. I like doing it like that, it's just... And another thing about beginner mode, you also have auto-aim enabled. Uh, so, just like in the original Japanese version where auto-aim is always enabled. Well, I think in Director's Cut version, I believe there are some difficulties that 
disable auto aiming, but still, uh, I'm gonna move this right here. And we're gonna cut him up. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, so then we save ammunition. Also, when blood pours on the floor, that means he's dead. So if blood doesn't pour on the floor, that means they're not dead. And they're both dead, so... We want to push this statue because we get something from it uh, uh, later on, which we'll get later. So so we want to push this now. Um, okay, <laughs> it's inside the zombies. We want to push it here. It breaks, then we can get something. We can get it now, but I'm gonna get it later. And uh, then I'm gonna go to this door right here. Ha ha ha. And then, we have another room with zombies. Uh, now I'm gonna change it to the gun. And we're gonna shoot them! And the auto aiming is facing this one, so. I think that other one's dead that I just killed. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, some zombies can spit acid. Right, he's not dead, and hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I'm right back! Alright, so... Oh, yeah, the zombie. Oh, I forgot I had a gun equipped. I, I made a safe stay anyway, and I'm gonna use the knife. So then I can save my ammunition. Here we go. Ugh, take that, you naughty boy. Okay, um... I don't think there's anything that way yet. No, because we cannot go through this door because it's locked. A carbon. A carbon of a helmet. Then this door, we cannot re-enter. We cannot enter it. A number... Oh, you don't know the pass number. Yeah, we don't... Can't use that yet, so... Our only option is to go down the bloody stairs. Alright, then I believe there's another, right, there's another zombie that, oh yeah, there's another one there. Oh god, no, it won't get off me. Right, I'm still fine. I'm gonna... Oh god damn it, get off. Right. And then... That's always run out of ammunition there. I'm gonna go down. And they're both dead. Yay! We're gonna go in this door. And this room is a save room because this music means it's a save room. And yeah, there's an ink ribbon here as well in case you need it. Um And then there's this thing right here. This is an item box. You definitely want this. It's not only there's more clips here, so we got we got a lot of ammunition now. Um, okay, no, they don't combine, okay. Okay, so, I'm gonna have these clips, and you can also combine items, by the way, so, the way you do that is, you go here, and then combine, and then boom, this is how you combine items. You can also combine these with the gun, but of course there's no room for it, so... So we got 105, wow! We've got tons of ammunition here. You don't get that many in the normal mode, in the range mode, um, but because I'm on beginner mode, yeah, we get a lot. In fact, we'll take away that um, spray as well, because we don't need that. Uh, I'll keep my knife and all that, and we'll need that shield for later, so yeah. So, we're gonna leave them there for now. Um, is there another zombie around here? Yeah, there is, okay. Um, oh, god damn it. Right, I'm on caution, so I best use the gun. Okay. Right, I think it's dead. Yeah, because the auto aiming is not working, so. It's locked. A coven of armor. Okay, so we need. So yeah, you need different keys to go in different doors. So oh, there's another zombie there. Just shoot him. He's so annoying. 
Is he alive still? No, he's not. He's dead because there's blood on the floor. And then there's another zombie right there. Oh, God damn them. Come on. Oh. I just lost ammunition. But again, I can use the knife to save ammunition there. And then boom. And we can go in this door. For this. We go here. It reads, some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. Oh, it's something we don't have yet. But remember that thing we pushed? Yeah, the thing we need there is what we need to put in that thing. So, but we'll come back to that later. In fact, no, we can actually get it now. You unlocked it. Yeah, that's what the lockpick does, I believe. Oh, wait, no, because some doors you have to go on the other side to unlock them. Because they're locked from one side, but not on the other. So you have to unlock them that way. By going on the other side. So, so that thing we dropped, we're back in the dining room. Go here. It's this blue thing here. There's nothing inside. No, not that. This. There we go. <sighs> the blue jewel. This is what we need in order to, um... Um... In order to, um... Uh, put in that tiger. So, we're gonna... In fact, there's something else we could do here. We're gonna go here first. Yeah, I've used the lockpick. Yeah, this is what the lockpick can do. It can unlock doors easily. And Jill Jill always has a lockpick. Uh, and it never expires. If you play as Chris, then you have to collect lockpicks. And then, yeah, then you can use them. So, that's how it works for Chris. For Jill, it doesn't. And then right here, we're gonna push this. Right here. Then we can get this. The music notes. And then we're going to use it on this piano that we just went past. Right here, there's a piano right here. I'm going to go here, find Grand Piano. You want to press start, use, and then it's Moonlight Sonata. plays a song, and then it opens this door. Luckily, you don't have to press buttons there. And then here, you find this gold shield. This is what you want to replace with the other one. The gold emblem is what you want to replace with the one you, we got earlier. Because it closes this door. You want to put the normal emblem on, so then it opens the door. Don't worry, nothing else will happen. We're just replacing it. We're just um, transplanting it. So, uh, then we want to go to the door. Then we're going to go back to the dining room to then put that emblem back into the main room in place of where the normal one was. So, oh god, my nose. Really snotty. Um, yeah, bl the blood is still on the floor. Oh my god. It's hollow that an emblem was in. I'm going to put the gold one here, and this is what happens. The clock right here that moves so we can get something. And it's something we definitely need in order to continue the game. So, you can't see it there, but it is there. It's the mansion key. Uh, we're going to use that later. We're not going to use it now, but... Or maybe we maybe we need it for a few doors. Uh, now, depending, uh, uh, there are certain doors that need different keys. And if if you've used all doors with that key, you can discard the key. Uh, the game will give you an option to do that. So, so you don't have to worry about um, throwing away your key yourself. You can keep it if you want, but why would you want to do that? Uh, we're gonna go here. Definitely want to have ammunition here because. We get ammunition here. 135. Um, but we need. But yeah, you can refill. Just like that. You can also do the combined method. But we want to try and read this book. But then. A zombie comes out of the cupboard in you. And you want to shoot him real quick. There we go. 
There's blood on the floor, and then you want to read the book. Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. Oh, God. At night, we played poker with Scott the Guard, alias, and Steve the Researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. The May 10th. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. Oh god. They told me to feed them live food. Live food? I don't know what that is. When I threw in a pig, ew, they were playing with it. <laughs> Tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. Then May 11th. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up, suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a space suit. He told me to put on... to put on as... On, put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12th. I've been wearing that this annoying space suit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. Oh god. By the, by way of revenge, I didn't feed these those dogs today. Now I feel better. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. Uh, they put a big bondage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the space suit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. <laughs> that was May 13th. Then on May 14th. Uh, when, uh, you know what, I'm not going to read these, um, these are just documents, <laughs> itchy tasty, oh god, the Keeper's Diary has been filled, so yeah, uh, some you might want to read for clues, but I'm not really going to read a lot of them, because they're just like, stories and such, so, yeah, well now we can go in that tiger room, because we've got that jewel, uh, it's not in the wall, Jill, it's in there, <laughs> I'm gonna sit up on my chair. And then, we need to put it in this eye. Okay, there we go. And then the blue eye is there, and then we get something special. A coin. Well, it's not really a coin, but you get the point. Um, and you will need this to continue the game. And it's a, it's a wind crest. Yeah, so these crests are, there are like four of them in this mansion. Um, and they're required to continue the game, uh, to continue the story, so... But we will use them later, so... So, I would just put them in the item box if you're near one for now. Uh, because you don't need them right now, but you will need them, like, later in the game. Like, halfway through, I'd say, so... Now we're going to go into this silver door. And there's nothing we can do here. There is tentacles here. You go close, then the tentacles are there, so. An old pump. Water seems to be sent from here. The lid is open. Right, uh, so there is something we need to do here, but we cannot do it yet because we don't have something, so. We don't have anything to sort this out, so. Now we're gonna go to, um. In fact, we've got the mansion key. Can we actually open that door that we couldn't open before? Uh, the one. That's here. This one. No, we cannot. Um, uh, I won't put that away yet. Uh, oh, my neck. Lovely. Um, right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go back to the main room, and then we're gonna go. Um, I'd say we go. Um. Yeah, we go upstairs again. Oh wait, no, no, not upstairs. We'll go um, to another door that's downstairs. So, so then we could go upstairs from there. So we'll do that instead. Uh, we'll go. Uh, yeah, this blue door. There's another door there. I think that's locked though. Yeah, it's locked. Carving of an armor. Okay. Um, go through this blue door right here. There's quite a few things here, so first off, in here, there's a few things we could push. So there's this 
there's these stair kind of things that you want to push. Except it doesn't look like we're pushing it. And we want to push it from here in as well. Then we press uh, X here, and then, or maybe another button for you. Uh, map of the first floor, will you take it? Yes, you definitely want the map. The way you access the map is you pause the game, and then you go to map right here, and then it's map floor one, and then, then that's how you access the map. It's not really much of floor two yet, because we don't have the map for that. Uh, there's another thing here. We can push it either way, it doesn't matter. We can go in this thing. There's a zombie on the floor. This zombie is alive, by the way. Uh, and the way I'm going to kill it is simple. Knife! Lovely. Because it won't kill us that way, so it's just going to try and get us, but still. And there's something here, and it's ink ribbons. Uh, again, um, I'm going to try and not save the actual game at all, mostly. Because of save saves I can use on the PlayStation Classic, so... I may have to save a lot in, like, Resident Evil 2 and 3 and Code Veronica, though, since... Um, the, the, I'm not playing those on the PlayStation Classic, and obviously Code Veronica is not a PlayStation 1 game, so... Yeah. Oh, and then... This room. This is where you want to run. Uh, because there's something here, but first we can push this. And nothing. I think that I think it's something else. You want to run because these dogs from before will chase you, and you want to go to that door quick. Don't worry, it's not locked. You're not you're not in trouble or anything. So, yeah. Then what I can do? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, Jill's face <laughs> just scared us. Oh, and there's something here as well. This is very useful. This is a herb or a herb, a green herb. This can heal you. And you want to use them if you want to heal yourself a lot. It's locked. <sighs> Carving of an armor. Yeah, of course. Um, I believe the dogs are still there. Now, the dogs are actually easy to kill in beginner mode. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The dog is there. Okay. Because. Oh, God. Because when they about to charge at you, you can just shoot. That one's dead. That one's nearly dead. I think it's best to shoot them when they're almost close to you, because then it gives them more damage, I believe. That's what I've been told from, like, my brothers and my father on that, but... I don't know if that's true, though. Alright, we got clip. Because the amount of damage you give to enemies and yourself also differs between regional versions as well. Like, in the Japanese version, you have more health and the enemies have less health. Um, and it's the opposite in the uh, English versions. I don't know if it applies to the difficulties in the director's cut version, though. Again, I'm, I'm on beginner mode, so it kind of resembles the Japanese one a bit, but... Whoa, Jill's face, Jill's face again. Um, but still, and we can go in this door here. I believe this room you, you 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 can't really do anything in. Yeah, this is the bathroom. There's nothing in here, absolutely. Unless you're playing this hacked version. I believe there is something. Um, you go to this bath. The bathtub is filled with muddy water. Will you unplug it? Yes. It won't be like this in the original game if you're playing the original version, by the way. No matter what version. And then here, after you unplug the bath... You can then find a clip. Uh, this is actually uh, a leftover from prototype versions of the game. So, like, beta builds of the game. But in the final game, there is literally nothing in this room. There's no shit anywhere. So, yeah. So, it's a pointless room uh, otherwise. So, but luckily, I'm on this hacked version, so we do get something. So, just from the, like, from the prototype. So... Uh, that door, we're not going to go in there yet, because, uh, there is something cool we could do, but still, I'm not going to go through there. Um, I'm going to go here. Oh, there's a zombie there. And then the zombie is not dead, because the auto-aiming is still in effect. So I'm going to mine this, and then... Knife, and then... Oh, he is dead! Um... Or is he? Oh, the zombie's there. Oh my god. Okay. Ugh. 
Oh, blood on the screen. Right, the auto aiming is not working, so meaning they're dead. Uh, right, this room. Oh boy, this is where you need to do some puzzles. Yeah, this game has puzzles as well. So. Right, this one is based on how a baby is born. This one, so. So you want to look at these images or read the text of a young man? Uh, no. You want to press them in order. So, I believe it's, uh, is there any images that side? There is one. Um, uh, an image of a newborn baby, um, so you want to try and do it in order. So, newborn baby, what's this one? Of a tired middle-aged man, uh, no, definitely not this. It's definitely not that. Um, there's crows here as well. Um, uh, that was the... An image of an infant. I believe there's something before infant, though. Um, what's this one? Of a lively boy? Um, or maybe it is infant next. And then, an, then a lively boy. I think that image is last. Um... Then, of a young man. Uh, I might be wrong for this, but... So we got that one. What was this one? The tired middle age. Right, so this one is definitely after the previous, so... Uh, Jill, stop running into the wall. There we go. Uh, young man. So I think it's young man next. And then... Then it's middle age man. Which is this one. Forgot to check out this image as well. Oh, it's not relevant to this then. Okay. So that was middle-aged man. Then it's really old man, and I think it's all the way here. Yeah. Switch below. And then you go here. It's entitled The End of Life. Oh my god, I've done it on first try! <laughs> yes, I was correct! If you get this wrong, then the crows will come out and try to attack you. So we got the star crest. If you do this incorrect, the, these crows up here will try to attack you if you get this wrong. So, oh my god. I've done this on first try. Wow. So that's the order you do it. Um, so that's that done. Oh wait, no, we can actually... Although we can't go through this door yet... We can put the crests there, so we can put them there ready. So, oh, there's a dog. There's only one dog, luckily. And he's dead. Lovely. I love killing dogs. <laughs> no, not really. Not real dogs, but... Yeah, so we want to put those crests on here. It doesn't matter what order you put them in, as long as you put them on there, then... You can go through this door later. We can't go through this door yet, obviously, but we can put them there. Then it saves us from putting it in those item boxes. So yeah, that's two of them done. Then there's two more crests to get. So now let's get out of this door. And then... The zombies are gone, by the way. Uh, you can't go through that door that we went past, by the way. You locked it. Yeah, we can, we've unlocked a door to another dimension. <laughs> And there's a zombie. And auto-aiming is not doing anything, so... Okay. Oh, there's another herb there. And <laughs> it just looks like we're picking up on the side. Wow. You can also combine the herbs as well for better health. But we'll do that later, so... And there's no music here. I'm gonna use that. We're fine. I'm just gonna use those now, so we can go up to the fine level. Um, and there's something here. This is what we need for that uh, tentacle room. Chemical. Um, I'm gonna go in this item box. And then I'm just gonna put my increments in there, or 
Okay, um... Right, I'm gonna have to, um, combine these. It's, like, best to carry increments a lot, uh, to, like, combine them a lot, so... So I'm gonna put my increments back where they were, and then... Uh, there's nothing else we need, so... I don't think there's any increments where that, uh, save thing is, so... We're fine to just, um... Um... Uh, just go upstairs. So... And as you can tell, yes, there's more zombies up here, so we need to kill them. Uh, there's a zombie right here. Oh, oh, shit. I'm just gonna... And I've ran out of ammunition. Ooh, he's just vomiting on me. Ooh, disgusting. And auto-aiming... Oh, because it parts on me there. Ah, oh, shit, I lost an ammo. Okay, um... Okay, uh, that's that done. Uh, is there another- was there another door? There's a door there. It's- oh, it's locked, of course. Okay, um... Uh, that's locked as well. Yeah, the door knob is broken. Uh, oh, there's blood on the wall. Something is written on the wall. I can't breathe! Save me from this pain! <laughs> oh boy. Okay. More creepy music because there's another bloody zombie there. Oh, boy's arm off. And he's bleeding to death. Okay, um. Right, there's something in this room that, um. There is something in this room, by the way, so. There's a book that we can read. The Botani book. I'm not gonna. It's just a story. I think it's I think it's like tells you how herbs work, I believe. Um nothing uncommon. Uh I believe there's something else here on the other side of the room. Nothing uncommon. If you go on the other side of the door, it's just the, the broken door knob one, so So we're just gonna get out this side. It, I don't really care. Um okay. Yeah, can we? It's locked. Carve enough an armor. Okay. Kill the zombie. Kill the zombie. And auto aiming is still active, so we need to um, slash him up. Oh my god! I've killed him. Oh no, I haven't. Oh wait. Oh yeah. If he tries to bite you on the neck, you will either kick the head. And then it flies off, or you crush it. Uh, it works differently for Jill and Chris, I believe. Uh, Jill only crushes it when it's doing it from the back. Um, so, yeah. And that's locked as well, so... So... Let's get out of the door. And see... What happens. Barry! Jill! What's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa! This hall is dangerous! Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. And we get the acid rounds, which is not really a weapon, but it is something used for a weapon. <laughs> they didn't even say anything. <laughs> Okay. Now, you only get this cutscene when you were going through the mansion like I did. And I don't remember this music playing. Is it new in this version, or is it the, the original PlayStation version at it? I don't remember this music playing. Maybe it's the sound version that didn't have it, who knows. So now we need to go back in here that we saw earlier, that I've saved it, that I... That I thought we were gonna get a Barry cutscene here, because you can get a Barry cutscene here. It kind of depends where you are, so... 
So then, so those things that Barry gave us is for this thing, the bazooka. This is very powerful. And yeah, we can see Forrest, the dead body again. And then the goddamn crows trying to hurt us. Oh no, crows. Naughty crows. I wish they were all dead. And then, it's just a simple thing about going back to the door there. So, yeah, it's all quiet. So we're just going to go through, uh, we're going to try and go, yeah, we'll go to that tentacle room again, because we need to go there. <coughs> oh boy, I just burped. Um, okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> you, go, you go all the way on the other side to get down. Wait, I don't know why I'm going in here. In fact, yeah, I'll take- oh, I'll put away the bazooka, because I don't really need that yet. I don't need it yet, so we're gonna- Gonna put it away! There we go! Get out of the room! I don't know why I'm singing like this, but... In fact, was that key for this room again? Or can we still not go in? No, we still can't go in! Oh god, no! Oh, unless we get the key after doing this thing. I think we do. Yeah, I believe we do, so we're gonna go here first. <laughs> oh god, my bloody nose. So then we go here, because these tentacles will come out and they will attack you. And you can die from it, so we're gonna go here and put this chemical in. Those tentacles start to malfunction. And dead. Lovely. Um, and then... Yes, there is a key. It's uh, man another mansion key. <laughs> um, okay, I think they're all mansion keys then. Uh, there's also some herbs here. There's also these special ones. These red ones. These ones are extremely helpful. You definitely want these. Uh, if you combine them with green ones and then heal yourself, you'll get better health. So you definitely want these. So I'm going to combine one now. Yeah, you can't use... You can't use uh, the red ones by himself. Yeah, we will mix the herbs. Then we're going to get another green. And then combine that. So then we can get a lot of herbs on the way, so... There we go. So then we got... Right, there's two more. Okay. Uh, I'd say we... Uh... Yeah, you can even heal yourself for no reason. So, yeah. We're just gonna pick that up then. Will you take the green up? Yes, I will. Oh, my. Oh, got my nose. Okay. Now, I don't really know where to go next. Uh, oh, of course, uh, let's see if that room works now. We can open that room now, let's see. Uh, pretty much any other doors that were unlocked before. Yes, we can use it! But they still call them mansion keys, I don't know why. And then here we get two things, um, I believe one is just more ammunition. Oh, and then one we need more space for, so, um, so I'm gonna put these herbs away. Um, but it's basically a weapon that we cannot use in there, but we still need to take it for something. Uh, so here we go. Do, do, do. 
We're gonna go back in here. <laughs> the running animation still locks. Okay, um... I'm gonna put these in here. So then... Uh, do I need anything here? No, I don't. Um, then we can just get out of the bloody room. Yeah. And then, what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna go... Back in here, because I think there's two more things you can get here. I believe there's ink ribbons you can get, and then that other weapon, so... The desk is locked. We use the lockpick, and yeah, you can use lockpicks on these as well. Oh no, it's not ink ribbons, it's this. Shells. These are for the shotgun, uh, which we don't have yet, but we will have in a moment. So this is a shotgun right here, but this is a broken shotgun. You might be thinking, oh, you can't use that. Well, remember that room that we skipped? And I said, no, we're not going to go in there. We're going to go there now. Um, I just need to figure out how I'm going to get there quick. Um, so, we're going to go there right now. So, we can go there. Oh, wrong way, chill. Okay. Oh. Okay. Get in the door. Open up the door. Someone's in the house. No, not really. Um, and no, you cannot get the shield again. Uh, just because you just got it to get something out uh, behind the clock. No, you cannot get the shield out. It's always locked there. So I don't think you can have it for collection purposes. Oh, can we use that key for this room? Yes, we can. Yes. We can use the key to open this door. And there's some, there's more stuff in this room. Uh, the object of art, and there's a mirror here. Oh, more clips. 210 ammunition, wow, we got tons of uh, handgun ammo. And there's a zombie there. And, and I wasted ammunition again. And then here, the desk is locked, yep, yeah, lockpick. And then we're going to use it for more shells. We get 14 each from these. Now we have 28. So. And then we go in this door. And then here, there's another zombie there. But you can only kill it by shooting it from the floor. Just like that. And then boom. He's dead. Um. And we're gonna... Um, okay, I think I'm gonna have to use a green herb here. Um, just because... Oh, I don't need to use it at the moment. Oh, because I have full health. Okay. Now, this door here, you don't have the key for this room. So, I believe you cannot enter this uh, throughout the whole game. I think you have to finish it, and then you go back to that room later after you unlock it, and then you can go in there. Oh, something here. Oh, it's in Um, We'll have to come back here then for these two. For a massive collection. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I think it's a costume room, I believe. I don't fully know, though, because I've not been in there personally. But I think that's what it is. Um... Alright, we're gonna go... Uh, not push that... Chill! I don't need to push that. Go through the dog room again. But the, dog, the dogs are dead, which is a good thing, so we can just go through here. And, uh... Oh, God! I just lost the pause. <laughs> okay. Woo! Scary Jill again. And yes, we can use that key to open this door as well. We can open a lot of doors with this key. Um, we'll go out here first. Um, um, is it right here? There's a dog! That you want to shoot. And there's just herbs out here, but you can't... We can't use them yet because, um, of course, um... We don't have enough room, so I believe here another dog comes on the side, and then you just want to 
keep shooting him. Oh, oh crap. Oh, whoa, 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 what is that dog doing? It's just freaking out. Dog, oh, shit, there we go. Um, right, I'm going to use this herb because I took a bit of damage, so... Okay. So let's go back in the um, the room that I rejected before. But I'm not rejecting it anymore. We can go in there. Because of this room here. Uh, and then this, it evolves with the next room. So uh, there's this shotgun here. This is the proper shotgun. Oh wait, I, I, oh wait, yeah, uh, yeah, I do. Oh, thank God. And then that, and you notice this thing lifts up. You put down the shotgun. Yes, whatever. Oh, it's a normal one though, it uses. So we have to do this manually by pausing the game. And then put the fake broken shotgun on. So then it still presses down. The reason you want to do that is because this next room, if you don't do that, then the wall, the ceiling will come falling down and you may die if you're not quick enough to get out and you cannot exit out of the room. Again, if you haven't accessed the Barry cutscenes, then Barry might save you. Um, I've not had that cutscene myself, but, but apparently you can get that. <laughs> you get like one of the funniest cutscenes in the game and the funniest quotes. Um, like he calls Jill a Jill sandwich. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, right, let's go back in that item box room so we can put some things away. Because uh, I don't really need I don't need the shotgun yet. I don't really need that yet. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna put that away for now. Um, uh, not put it there. Though. In fact, I will put it there and then so we can move things down a bit. There we go. So then, I like having things in order. Uh, we're gonna, um... Right, so there's quite a few other rooms in that other corridor as well. Uh, we'll go upstairs first in this way, so... You can get up the stairs, Jill! There we go. Right, I believe there's a door here that we can unlock. Yep, we've used the mansion key. Uh, here we go, we can go in there. Oh my god, it's, an, it's a head thing. Um, in this room, I believe... I, I forgot what was in here, um, besides some herbs. Uh, there's something else here, yeah. There's this, the lighter. You definitely want this for a few... For, a few, for some parts of the game. Um, oh, what's here? Yeah, another clip! Oh my god! Um, I believe there's something in the middle of the beds. Um, uh, nothing there. Uh, and there's a red herb there. Um, I don't know if I'll have enough room though, so I'll save that for later. And if I, if there's, no, if there's nothing else I need then, from like the other room then, or if it's just some other items that combines with my others then, I'll get it. to be a switch. Uh, I'm not going to press it yet, because I think I might need to do something. Um, um, I don't know if I need to... Uh, I think I might need to push this. Uh, there's something at the back of the shelf. Um, there is something here, though. And there's another ink ribbon. Um, I'm not going to get it yet. Uh, research as well. Uh, I'm not really going to read all of these. Research as well. Uh, right, let's try this. Let's try and hit the switch and see what happens. 
Oh, the water sinks. And nothing else. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, you can push this, though. Oh, okay, um... I forgot what you do here. Uh, I think, let's, let's get out and re-enter the room. Uh, I forgot... I forgot what you're doing there. Um... Okay, I forgot what you do, um... Oh, you push it. Okay. There's something at the back of the shelf. Yeah, I know. Oh, unless we push that and then... Push that on that side and then we push this fully. Then we can get... Oh, there we go. Unless the water is to get rid of it. Explosive R. Yes, we definitely want that. Oh, my God. Um, oh, there's something down here as well. Nothing special. Uh, oh, I don't want to see Jill's butt. There we go. Oh, I think it's just there for no reason then. See, it's like... Well, the camera's changing. Oh my god. That thing there. Can you see it? Yeah, I think that... I don't know what that is, but... Uh, why not? I'll take these... Um, think ribbons. Uh, you, can't, you cannot discard items uh, yourself, though. Unfortunately, so... Now, I don't know if the other room is open, but... Let's see if it is. Is this open? Yes, it is! And I believe this room has something we use for the lighter. Yes, there is! Okay, we go here. We need the lighter here. Wait, you can't use it here? Uh, what is put on the stove? The paper is on the wall. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was on the different angle we were trying to do it. Okay. Oh, it's another map. Of course it would be. It's a map of the second floor. Will you take it? We got the map of the second floor. Yes. Um. Okay. We're doing really good progression so far. Um. Let's, uh, uh, it's not really going to be, right, I'm going to go back to the, um, uh, the item box. So this is the closest we can get to, um, I'm going to go back to the item box and Jill, stop that, there we go, go in there, and then, uh, go back to the item box. Because we don't need some items, so we don't need these. So explosive rounds, and then acid rounds, we don't need them. Uh, so... Uh, I don't think we need the lighter until later, so we can take that away as well. Uh, so, we can just combine these together. 16 increments, wow. Um, there we go. So we can just get out. So now we're going to try and go through the other hallway, where there's a few other rooms that were locked before, but we could enter them now, so... Uh, let's try that. Okay. Go up the stairs, and then... This way. I don't want to read that again! Come on! Why did I press the X button there? Oh my god. <sighs> oh god, boy. Oops. Alright, um. Can we go in there? Yay! We can! Get, get in the bloody door, Jill! There we go. <sighs> this room, I remember this. Uh, this is where you want to do this. Um. So it's where you push these statues over these vents. Jill, press it. Well, not press it, but I mean push it onto it. There we go. 
And then you want to hit this button down here. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes. Because if you don't do that, then literally the vents will bring up gas and you have to get out of the room quickly before you die. Uh, and I believe there's another cr crest here, I think. Yes, there is. There's another crest. The sun crest. We can use that to put back. So, And then there's another room that we can go in. Alright, let's go. You have used the mansion key. Oh, we don't need to use this anymore. Yes, we can discard it. Yes, you definitely, you absolutely want to do this. Uh, because, uh, yeah. Because don't worry, it's not going to trick you into thinking, Oh yeah, there is more doors with that key. <laughs> but no, the game does not mess you with that, luckily. You get these two herbs here. And then... And then we can, um... Get this cutscene. Richard! What happened? Oh, Jill. This house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded! What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake. And also poisonous. Oh. Poisonous? Richard! Hold on! There is serum. Oh no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Serum. So yeah, that that is what you use to cure poison. But you cannot use it in the game at all. Haha! <laughs> but there is luckily another way feeling yourself so the map it actually gives us a hint on where we need to go and it's on the first floor so and it just so happens to be um, the first save room we entered in this playthrough so we're gonna go there now in fact first because we got a few items let's go because we got a few item slots left we'll go back in that other room, shall we? So we can get some items first. And then we'll go and get the serum. So let's go back in here first. Not that we need to, but... Eh, we're just collecting some ink ribbons, etc. So... Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Getting, the, getting the bloody... Oh. There's something here. It's ink ribbons here. Yes, ink ribbons. And then, oh, of course there's another, can we use this? No. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to come back here again, I guess. <laughs> uh, I just came here for nothing <laughs> other than ink ribbons. Um, okay. Um, I'll probably do that in like another video though, so like to save video time and such. Um, okay. Alright, let's actually go back. Uh, to the other rooms now. Okay. Oh, my ear. Oh, God. All right. Hello, clock. Um. Uh, through here. So then the first save room that we found... There is serum in that room. That's the room we need to go in. So, that's what it's telling us to do. We need to go there. So, we're going to go there right now. We're going to go there right now. Because we need, need to. Oh, I don't have enough space. But luckily, there is an item box here, so we can put things away. Uh, I'll put this crest away, because we don't need that yet. Um, I'm going to combine those ink ribbons together. Yeah, why not get that? Uh, yeah, serum. Or serum. <laughs> if you want to say it like that. Uh, why would you say it like that, though? Um... All of these green herbs up here. So there we go. Uh, that's what we do here. So 
Oh shit, I need to get something else. <laughs> uh, because we also fight a boss as well soon, so... We're gonna want something useful. Um, remember that bazooka we got? That's what we need. We're gonna get it now. The bazooka. You, definitely, you will definitely want this. You don't need it, but it's recommended. Along with just some normal explosive rounds, not acid rounds. I don't, we don't, I don't really recommend them uh, for this fight. So, and there's nothing else to use. So, so we're just gonna get out, and then we're gonna go back to where I think it's Richard. I think yeah, Richard. That's his name. We're gonna go back to him and try and give him the serum. Here we go. So we just need to go back. It's a long way. Okay. Go in the door. And then. And you know what? Fuck it. We'll just um, <laughs> we'll get we'll get that herb again from that room. Uh, I don't care about video time. We'll try and make it like hundred and uh, one hour and twenty minutes or something. Um, because we're about to fight a boss, and I'd say after we place the the crests and all that, or after we get the last crests, which is the boss fight, we get the crest after fighting it. You can get it during it as well, but it's recommend fighting it first and then. Then I'm thinking of ending it off, so... Yeah. We'll do it like that for the Resident, the Resident Evil what? Oh, oh god, my throat. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go... Okay. Oh and then we're gonna go back upstairs. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> it sounds like heart beating. All right. Um. Well, let's go back to mm, mm, Richard. Uh, let's see if we can um, <laughs> get some syrup back to him. I don't know why I'm doing more shoot from the Zelda CDI there. The mm, Richard. Okay. Okay. So let's try and give it to him. Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh, uh. And he's dead. Well, he's dead. Richard is dead. Of course. I think it's because he was poisoned so much that he died. Um, but by the way, you don't keep the serum. Let's look at the pause menu. You don't keep the serum. So I think we did gave it him, but it was too late anyway. So... Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is on me! Oh my god. Because of the camera. This camera! There we go. There we go. I'm gonna need that now. Okay, um... Is there something in this room before we fight this boss? Because it's literally up the stairs. Uh, yeah, there is something here. Um, push it either... We'll push this either side, it don't matter. And then, we're gonna go here. To find, it's too dark to see anything. <sighs> too dark. It's. Oh yeah, this is where we need to turn some lights on. Oh, more clips, of course. Of course, there'll be more clips. Um, is there anything else here, though? Well, there's some ink ribbons. Uh, obviously, we need them. Um, a candle. 
There's got to be a light switch somewhere. Okay. And it's too dark to see. I don't know what you do here. Okay, let's just get out. It don't matter. Okay, let's um, uh, let's go up here. You've used the mansion key. Oh yeah, this is where we can discard the key. We don't need it anymore. Uh, so this is when we want it equipped. Our bazooka. Because we're getting ready to fight this beast. And it's something that Richard said. So we're gonna we're gonna save state now. Uh, and we heard the first part of the music there. Then, because we fight a snake. Yeah, and this is a poisonous snake. This is why I recommend the bazooka. Because, oh, the auto aim did not activate. Because if he damages you, this happens. And then you pause, you're poisoned. So, yeah. You don't want that to happen, so we're going to, um, try and not get poisoned. <laughs> then we're going to... Oh, I've got bitten. <laughs> okay, I nearly had it, though. I literally nearly had it. So, um, luckily we're safe state and not just doing normal saves. Um, so we could damage him twice there, it seems like. Oh my god. Because he does take a few hits, so... Come on. I don't want to die from this boss. I think after two hits and then when he tries to go on the other side, it's when you want to, um... <sighs> when you want to run. I think you want to try and shoot the head more because it deals more damage, it seems like. And I, I took damage. <laughs> stupid, stupid shitty snake. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, you piece of shit. I'm going to kill you. Oh, you're going to try and go on the other side now, okay. Nice. Whoa, shit. Shit. Are you kidding me? And we found some shotgun ammo on the side as well. Oh my god. Like, I think I did try to do this no damage on first try with the bazooka. Okay. Run. Oh, fuck! Are you serious? <laughs> oh, you, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God! This fucking snake, man. Oh, my God! I don't know what that screen was. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna get bitten. Shit. Shit! Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. This is, this is fucking hard. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we, we, we actually almost had it though, so... Alright, I'd say... Shoot him a few times there. Oh my god. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh my god. Oh, I'm shooting him from there. Right, we need to combine. Oh, that's not the gun. Okay. Oh. And we literally killed him there as well, but we're still poisoned. Yeah, we're still poisoned. I cannot kill him without taking damage. Oh no! And you only have six ammunition. You only have six ammo in the gun. That's the maximum it can hold. Yeah, every gun has the maximum amount of ammo it can hold. So. Oh shit! Why are you facing the other way, Jill? 
Come on. The snake is not that way, it's behind you. <laughs> but he's there. My god. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's that side. Oh my god. Oh shit. Are you serious? No way. <laughs> oh my god. He won't fucking leave me alone. Oh god. Okay. Shoot in there. Now I'm gonna run. Run away. Shit. <laughs> I've been poisoned. I didn't see any blood come out of Jill though. Maybe it was a bloodless damage. I don't know. I should have safe stated like before we started the fight, so then So then we don't have to see this cutscene again. Here we go. Okay shit! Oh boy. Run away! And I took damage. Oh my god, why can't I do this damageless? Cause it's so fucking hard. Come on, you are. Oh shit, which way is he facing? Oh, he's facing that way. The, the, what, Jill? Oh my god. Oh shit. I almost had it. It was like frozen. I almost had it, but I realized I lost ammunition. I could use the normal gun as well, or the knife, but it's not really going to work that way. And it's harder to do it damageless. Here we go. Oh, God. Shit! <laughs> this is so hard. I can't do it! Why? 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 The stupid snake! Come on, leave me alone! Come on! Right, that's a lot of damage! Oh boy, that's four damage slots so far. Okay, um. Right, I'm just gonna combine these. So then I'm gonna. Oh shit, why are you facing that way, Jill? Because you were facing the wrong way, Jill. God damn it. You weren't auto-aiming like you should. <sighs> what is wrong with you, Jill? Fight the same properly. Okay. Here we go. Uh, that's the fucking wrong way. Oh, are you serious? Oh, fuck. Shit. Oh my god. Why <laughs> can I not beat him up? Oh no! Why do I sound like a dog? <laughs> oh my god. This is so hard. Alright, come on. Come on, you bastard. Come on. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh my god. If only Jill was doing it correctly. I think it was because he was behind the, behind like, uh, the wall. Behind the stick. Like, shooting him two times there, it's easy. But then, it's trying to get there afterwards, that's so hard. Shit! I cannot progress! No! Why is this so hard? It's been five minutes since we started fighting him, and we still haven't killed him. Even though he's the first boss in the game, and he's so hard. Oh no! Am I poisoned? Even for a small bite, I still get poisoned. Oh my god. Oh, that was the best birth ever. Oh my god. And I deserve burping like this when fighting this. Holy shit. Okay. What the fuck, Jill? Are you serious? Why are you why are you just doing it on the wall and not the snake? And it's not even green blood coming out of him. Oh my god. 
Okay, come on. Good. Oh, that was too late. This is too hard. It's harder than me taking the dump in the toilet. And I've not used normal saves either. I could poison myself, but... But it will be a long time since you were healing yourself. Trust me. Shit! God damn it! No! Come on. Face the snake! Then face that way! Face the snake again and then run! Oh my god. Oh my god, I killed him! <laughs> wow! I killed him in just like... Wow, I didn't lose a lot of ammunition there. Oh my god. That was successful. Um, okay, that was the best way of killing him. Then he'll just run away. We're gonna get this ammunition there for a shotgun. Uh, the shells, and then... I'm gonna follow the snake... Into this thing. And it's another crest. Oh, thank god. Piece of shit, took ages. Oh my god. The Jill, what are you doing? Uh, is there something else here? No. Uh, what about this side? It's books and gadgetry. Nothing useful, as well as some drugs. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, if you do get poisoned, you will get a shortcut scene of Jill going, Am I poisoned? Give me the serum. And it'll either be like, um, uh, she'll either die during it, and then Barry will save her, and then you'll be cured. I think it's because he has the serum. Or, you'll be poisoned permanently. So, uh, yes. Um, okay, I don't think there was anything else in there. It said the room was dark, but... Uh, whatever. Oh, God, I've got a runny nose. Okay. I cannot wait to watch this when I finish this video. Oh, my God. Uh, we'll do one more thing. We'll put things in the item box that we don't need, like this bazooka, and then we'll finish the video off. We'll do that. Uh, we'll go to this... Uh... Go to the... Um... Oh, God. Yeah, if you want to see what... Oh, you unlocked it. Oh. But even if you open it from the other side, you cannot because the doorknob is still broken. And I can prove to you... Yep, the doorknob is broken. You can't do shit with it. Okay. Uh, then we're gonna get down the stairs. And then... <sighs> so then we're gonna go here. The gel. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, get in there. Okay. Um. And then... Right here... Uh, because we don't need the bazooka anymore, we can, uh, put that away. I'm gonna combine the shells into one. Um, okay, let's do that. 42 shells. Lovely. Uh, we can put this away as well, so. So we got that. And I can get the, um, the sun crest as well. Um. Uh, let's combine these and then we'll finish the video off soon. Um, okay, um... So yeah, I think this will be it for today's video, guys. Uh, I'll end it off while I'm doing this. So, next time in Resident Evil, we will, um... Um... Oh, wrong item. There we go. Uh, we will, uh, do, um... We will literally, uh, go through the rest of the game, uh, by starting with, um... By putting these crests uh, back in that. We'll try and get a few herbs as well. Uh, I shall see you guys next time. Jane Pabout. See you guys next time. Bye!